Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Tom Holland here. I am at the Ace Seattle Comic Con, having a great time, meeting everyone, it's going really well. Um, I wanted to apologize because there's no real revelations coming out this weekend about Spider-Man 2. I don't know much about it. Um, I'm a little confused because I died, so I don't really know how it all comes into play. But I do know is I got the new script, I'm super excited to read it, and it's going to be great. So yeah, Spider-Man 2, let's do this. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. How do you like Tom Holland now? He's having a Comic-Con panel this weekend, so he did this video to Sly drop the title for Spider-Man Homecoming 2, which we now can say is officially just called Spider-Man Far From Home, which is actually a pretty good title, loaded with meaning, of course, so let's all break it down. We got details on the villain and what's going on with the global storyline that they're telling. Very different from the first Spider-Man Homecoming movie, much, much bigger story. There is a new round of that Infinity War Blu-ray giveaway going on. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. I'll name a new winner at the end of this. Totally was not expecting this tonight because Tom Holland usually drops really cool stuff during his Comic-Con panels, which is actually happening later tonight. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was just the beginning because there's still all this Avengers 4 stuff that we have to figure out. He even acknowledges it during this little video like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to be dead even though we're ramping up to shoot Spider-Man 2. The funny thing about the title is, is it actually is the same name as the title of a 1989 Drew Barrymore film that represented her first on-screen kiss. So this is youth aspect to it, but I don't think that they're too inspired by this classic film. Far From Home means literally far from home because he's going to be traveling all over the world. They're filming at locations all over the world, actually practically shooting the movie. Most of it's happening in London. They shot the last Spider-Man movie mostly in Atlanta. Marvel usually shoots its films in Atlanta nowadays, unless they have some special stuff that they need to film, like when they were filming the Scotland scenes for Infinity War, for Scarlet Witch and Vision, and all that Secret Avengers stuff. I've already done a couple videos about the main villain, Mysterio. The Vulture was announced as coming back. Michael Keaton will be in the sequel. They didn't say how much, but obviously they're building towards Sinister Six. So it makes sense that they would try to bring him back, especially with that Scorpion post credits tag at the end of the last movie. This? It's not on you. It's on our uh, little spider friend. I've got some boys on the outside who would love to meet him. You know, take a picture, slice his throat, put his head in a dryer. And I heard a rumor. You know who he is. But right now, we know that it's going to be Quentin Beck Mysterio, the special effects wizard that then turns to crime. Jake Gyllenhaal was the person that was supposedly going to be cast as the character, and I think that'd be fantastic casting, but Marvel hasn't announced him specifically, and that's probably just because they're waiting to get that contract signed. Like, it was the same thing with Benedict Cumberbatch at Comic-Con a couple years ago. Like, they can't say that the actor is playing the role until everybody has signed every piece of paper necessary. And getting into the Avengers 4 timeline of it all, if you haven't seen any of the Avengers 4 Spider-Man specific videos that I've done, what's happening is, is Avengers 4 ends minutes later, Spider-Man 2 picks up. Far from home, as we call it now. The other big question now is, is after Avengers 4, which of those Avengers that come back from the ashes will cross over into his film? Part of the original Sony sharing arrangement with Spider-Man is, is that Marvel gave them access to A-list Avengers. So you're talking core Avengers popping up in Spider-Man movies. Last time it was Robert Downey Jr., but because Iron Man's status is pending into Phase 4, like what's going to be the future of the character? Will he survive? Will he be a digital AI? Is he going to be the one to wield the Infinity Gauntlet or will he be sacrificed so that someone can wield the gauntlet? Right now, Captain America is higher on my list for people that will sacrifice themselves, give up their life so that someone can wield the gauntlet because of that soul gem twist. So Iron Man still could totally wind up dying, but he's not quite as high on the list as Captain America because of the way Chris Evans feels about doing Marvel movies in general. Like he really likes being in Marvel movies, but of the two, Robert Downey Jr. is just way more jazzed up about being Iron Man than Chris Evans is about being Captain America in all these movies. There's nothing they can't do, man. It's, it's, and and I, I'm sure it's going to have the exact same effect when Captain Marvel comes out and then the Black Widow movie comes out. Marvel just has the winning recipe. And, and they're, they're kind of one step ahead of everybody else. And I mean, just looking at the... I mean, I was just looking at things this morning about these Black Panther, the, the, the openings around the country this weekend. It's going to crash. 
So Kevin Feige already confirmed that going through Phase 4, Phase 5 in the future, Captain Marvel is going to be the new face of the MCU, meaning that whether he lives or dies, Iron Man is transitioning to a more background role, which just lends more credence to the idea that they're going to go with the comic book twist and he'll be more of an AI that just speaks to Peter, but he might actually be dead and have just uploaded his consciousness to AI via Shuri's technology. The really cool thing about Shuri with Vision now is you wonder if she's so good at deconstructing people's minds like Winter Soldier, she has deep scans of the mind gem, she helped Vision out even though they had to cut that short, couldn't she do that with a human now? Would she have a way to easily duplicate someone's consciousness? So that's a way for Marvel to continue using Robert Downey Jr. indefinitely without requiring him to be on screen all the time. There was a video that I did a little while ago about Spider-Man in the next movie too. The costume designer confirmed that he was going to be getting some costume changes mostly because he's becoming a Spider-Man, like going from being a boy to being a man because he's about 16, 17 when Infinity War picks up. He'll be another year older and have gone through all this crap with the snapshot. What's going on this summer is, is they're going to start shooting the movie Spider-Man 2 in July. So that means that they'll be shooting while Comic-Con is going on. There's no Marvel Hall H panel. Sony is bringing Venom. They haven't said anything about Tom Holland. Maybe he'll film a special message to thank the fans and do some accidental spoiler again from the set. But just to be clear, him revealing the title here, this is not him accidentally spoiling it. This was definitely planned. That's not the script on his iPad there. That's probably just a picture with the title on it, just to let people know. Like, they probably wanted him to reveal the title. So just remember, Marvel understands that Tom Holland is not good with withholding information. He just can't keep secrets. So they're going to lean into this and just have fun with it and use it to reveal information about the movie as they want to. Here's a really funny montage of other actors trying to stop him from spoiling the plot of all these movies. Two characters in this movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we heard that Captain Marvel's going to make an appearance. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Chris Pratt and Dave Bautista. <laughs> now you understand why they paired him with Benedict Cumberbatch for all that Infinity War press. That was genuine. That wasn't them playing around. That was him really almost accidentally giving away information in Benedict Cumberbatch, the pro who's done this for a long, long time, just blocking for him like, nope, kid, nope, just be quiet. Just stop talking right now. There's a Comic-Con panel happening tonight. If they reveal any cool Avengers 4 information or more info about Spider-Man 2, I will totally do a video about it, but leave all your requests in the comments below. Congratulations to Casey. You're the latest giveaway winner. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. Click here for that brand new Ant-Man and the Wasp Avengers 4 trailer and click here to learn more about Mysterio in Spider-Man 2. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.